Hi, I'm Brooke, and I love making things, which is why I love living here in the Makery. Just to warn you, Makery's in a bit of a funny mood today. It keeps playing. <laughs> Makery. As I was saying, Makery keeps playing practical jokes on me. Oops. Oh, where'd that come from? <laughs> See what I mean? You never know where the next one's gonna come from. I've got a great idea in store for you, Brooke. Oh, amazing. Hang on a second. This is another one of your practical jokes. I guess there's only one way to find out. To the store cupboard. Yes. Okay, let's see what the makery's great idea is. Okay, so this time, all you're gonna need is a recycled plastic bottle. Ooh. Foil and some sand. Interesting. I wonder what we're making. Let's take a look. Here we go. <gasps> so cool. It's a makery volcano. This is going to be great. Now where's my making desk? To make an incredible volcano, start with a wiggly piece of card. I'm gonna stick down a recycled bottle with some tape. Now I know what you're thinking, this doesn't look much like a volcano. That's why we're gonna add some foil. Wrap it around the bottle and scrunch it to make it look lumpy and bumpy. Keep adding more layers of foil as you go. I'm also putting foil balls around the edge to look like rocks. Now I'm gonna cover this in paper towel and glue. Oh. Yay. Once you've painted plenty of glue on your volcano, you can start adding torn pieces of paper towel. There we are. Excellent. Now put your volcano on an old piece of paper or cardboard because we're gonna be sprinkling on some sand. My volcano is still wet, but if yours is dried out, you can add a little more glue. If you don't have any sand, you can always paint it a sandy color. There, amazing. Now we're gonna tip it to the side to get rid of the loose bits. Now for some plants. Makery, do you have any ideas for plants? Uh, so many ideas, Brooke, but here's just one for you. Oh, wow, perfect. Thank you. The Makery made these by carefully cutting into a strip of card and rolling it into a tube. Now I'm gonna carefully pull the leaves out before putting our grassy plants onto our volcano. One here, and this one maybe here. Great, I think we can add some stones. One over here, maybe a couple around this side. And finally, I'm adding my old toy dinosaur. Wow, that looks incredible. Here's a clever trick. If you want your volcano to erupt, ask an adult to help you add some baking soda into your volcano and then Add some vinegar and food coloring. Watch this. There you have it. Your very own erupting volcano. Wow, I love our it. <laughs> Watch out, little guy, that stuff's hot. Yeah, you too, mister. Run away. Ah. Huh? Ah, what's that? Hmm? Uh, What's that? Oh, tummy! Uh, <laughs> oh, not me. Huh? <laughs> uh, okay, no. You've got to be on your toes when the maker is in a funny mood. Hey, Brooke, do you like chips? Do I? I love chips, they're my favorite. Go ahead, 
try one. Don't mind if I do. No! <laughs> <laughs> Happy again, Makery. Yes, I did. Hang on. What's that sound? What is that? Seriously, I don't know what that is. It's coming from the empty room. Let's go take a look. Hmm. If there's nothing in here, then what's making that noise? I know what it is. Let's fill this empty room. What do you think it's gonna be? It's a funny monster. <laughs> What do you think it's gonna be this time? Okay, it's a tub. Yeah, a sun. Oh, what's that? I think that looks like a field and... Oh, there's sheep! It's a field of sheep in a tub! Oh, wow! I'm not falling for another one of your jokes, Makery. I'm on to you and your pranks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Got you again. <laughs> I'll get you back one of these days. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Tick tock, it's bake o'clock. Oh, yes. Hang on a second. Is this another one of your pranks? I never joke about baking. There's only one way to find out. To the Makery Bakery. Come on. I love this time of day. There you go. Ooh, how could I forget? Aprons on. And of course, Makery, wash our hands. So what's on the Makery Bakery menu today, then? It's a Makery Fake Breakfast. Yummy. You could call it a Makery Fakery, because it looks just like a cooked breakfast. It's time to get ready, steady, and cook. To make our fake breakfast, we're going to start with some Madeira cake. Make sure you ask an adult to help you cut a slice. It looks just like a piece of toast. Now it's time for a fried egg. You'll never guess what I'm using for that. Some yogurt. I'm gonna take a spoonful, like this, and put it on top of our toast. That's perfect for our egg white. Now for our egg yolk, I'm using canned peaches. Oh, Makery, we don't have any canned peaches. Not yet, but just go check out the Makery Maker Tree. Good idea, let's go. Wow, this really is a magic tree. Thanks, Makery. Anytime. <laughs> Opened cans can be sharp, so make sure you ask an adult to help you. I'm taking a small piece of peach, because this is gonna look just like an egg yolk. Now it's time to make our baked beans. To make these, I'm gonna use yogurt covered raisins. Pour them in a mixing bowl, and then I'm gonna add some orange sauce. Pour it in with the raisins, and then give it a good mix. There we are. That's made our fake beans look like baked beans. Amazing. I know. That's how you can serve up a fake breakfast. Enjoy! Mm, delicious. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Breakfast! Breakfast! Toast! Oh! <laughs> beans! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Beans! <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, oh. <laughs> Makery's got me with some pretty good pranks today, so I think it's time for me to get my own back. <laughs> hey, Brooke, what you doing? Ooh, nothing? Um, I'm just looking at this book of, uh, nothing? 
Hmm, okay, well, I've got a great idea in store. Ooh, in that case, to the store cupboard. Okay, let's see what the maker is thinking. Okay, this is a great one. For this one, you're gonna need cardboard, a recycled bowl, hmm. and some tissue paper. Interesting. I wonder what we're making. Let's take a look. Here we go. <gasps> it's a makery beam me up hat. This could take our arty adventures to another planet. To make a beam me up hat, I'm starting with a circle of cardboard, and then I'm gonna take this recycled salad bowl on top. Yay! Paint on glue and add pieces of tissue paper. And also add some darker pieces for details. Once that's dry, I'm gonna add some more detail with a pen. There, this is looking great. And now, I'm gonna add some stickers to look like the lights on a UFO. Excellent. Now, I'm gonna take a long strip of card and I'm gonna measure it around my head. Once you've done that, stick it together with some tape. There we are. Now I'm ready to attach this ring to the UFO. And for that, I'm using chopsticks. And I'm attaching them to the sides of the ring with some tape. Great. Now I'm taking a pencil and I'm gonna carefully make two holes. I'm carefully putting our chopsticks into these two holes. You might want to ask an adult for help with this. To make it look like it's really beaming me up, I'm gonna add these strips of card around the edge. Yay! This is looking fantastic. It looks like it's beaming you up into space. I think this is ready for liftoff. You're right, special delivery for the crafty kids. There you go. Who wants to try it out? Wow, they look fantastic. You don't have to make this beam me up hat. You could also make this green one with yellow domes. Or you could be really adventurous and make this triangle-shaped one. Wow, don't they look great? What a lot of lovely makes we've made today. And the maker has played a lot of jokes on me. But now, it's my turn. Oh, makery! Ah, uh, Brooke, look at your face, it's covered in spots. Ha, I got you. They're just stickers. Phew. See you next time in the makery. Bye. You really got me there, Brooke.